So much for the public service announcement, right? I don't know! Look at this motherfucker! Don't worry, new Savage Level Omega Null is coming soon, I promise. But you're gonna have to wait for it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This episode of Spot of the Liberal has been brought to you by Cheaties, the breakfast of chumps. Okay, let's get to it. The Biden administration is using Facebook and Twitter and Google and now YouTube as their tools to censor views that they don't agree with. The ludicrous and funniest part about it is that they're censoring views that we now know are true, such as where the coronavirus, COVID-19, originated. I know I'm not allowed to say coronavirus, but that's what it is, the coronavirus. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think the Democrats aren't spying on you, then you have clearly been living under a rock for at least the last 50 years because that's what the Democrats do best. They spy on people and use their lack of privacy against them. So according to Dr. Dave Mihalovic, any medical professional who believes that it is justified to inject any type of neurotoxin into any person to prevent any disease is completely misguided, misinformed, deluded, and ignorant of any logic regarding human health. And the most misinformed and misguided and deluded and ignorant of any logic regarding human health of all is da -da -da -da, Anthony Fauci. I'm sorry, Dr. Anthony Fauci, because he has to be a doctor despite not having done any research on his profession in almost 50 to 60 years. And he calls himself a doctor. No, he's not. So here's how you become a rebel in this godless era of American history. First of all, you love God. You appreciate your religion and you love God. Second of all, you love your country. You put your country first. You put America first like Donald Trump put America first for four years before he was unceremoniously and unconstitutionally ousted from the presidency despite the fact that he won in a landslide last year in the most tainted election in history and last and most important of all you have to think for yourself because if you don't think for yourself you're never going to have a fully developed brain i guess it just goes to show that we could save 20 to 40 percent or more on everything by switching back to trump Woo! <laughs> it just figures itself out doesn't it Ladies and gentlemen, unlike the Chinese, who are always at their most critical time, we are at the most important era and the most violent era in our nation's history. We are experiencing the Second Great Depression. Now, I know... Nobody in the media are going to say this, but that's what's happening right now. We are experiencing the second Great Depression, and we don't even know it yet. And you know who's the cause of it? The government. Because they refuse to stand for the flag or kneel for the cross. Instead, they want us to kneel for the flag and the cross. 
and they're only half right. See, if we kneel for the cross and we stand for the flag, we can show our pride in America and our Christianity without having to offend anyone for it. Two simple gestures. Standing for the American flag, kneeling for the Christian cross. That's the two... Those are the two important things that you have to do to keep our Christian nation alive. And I'm telling you what, if that's not a clear sign of things to come, take a load of this. Dr. Michael Yeadon, former Pfizer vice president and chief scientific officer, says... What would you want to take the risk of a brand new mRNA vaccine technology and give them to millions of children? These vaccines are a few months old. They've never been used before. We don't know the long-term safety profile, so stop giving these experimental vaccines to children who are not at risk of dying from the virus. Well said, Michael Yeadon. Well said. And let me tell you something. The fact that the Biden administration is using the vaccine to force children to get vaccinated, despite the fact that they're not at risk of dying from the virus, is pretty ridiculous. Vaccination, according to Alfred R. Wallace, is a gigantic delusion. It's a lie. Vaccination has never saved a single life. It has been the cause of so much disease, so many deaths, such a vast amount of utterly needless and altogether undeserved suffering that it will be classed by the coming generation amongst the greatest errors of an ignorant and prejudiced aged and its penal enforcement, the phallus blot. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take offense to what Alfred R. Wallace said in that statement, Chances are there may be something wrong with you. Well, I guess, hell, there's something wrong with everybody, and there's something wrong with me, too. But the difference is there are people out there that know that there's something something wrong with them and are able to recognize it. And then there's people who won't recognize that Trump, the people that the media hate the most won Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, New Jersey, Wisconsin, Virginia, and even California, the most liberal state in the entire union, even though they shouldn't even be in the union. News coming from all those states proves that Joe Biden lost to Donald Trump electorally in a landslide in a freaking landslide Biden lost those states he knew he lost those states but he had to cheat to turn the vote around in his favor see I was young about 20 years ago I studied the Holocaust in school the Holocaust I mean Why did I say Holly? Did I try to combine Buddy Holly with a Holocaust? I don't know. But when I studied the Holocaust in school, I remember thinking to myself, how did Hitler get over 6 million people to follow along and not fight back? 20 years later, I come to realize I'm watching my fellow Americans, my neighbors, and my friends, and some people in my family take the exact same path as all those Jews did before Hitler killed them off. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, we are at our most critical time. We are at our most vital time. And yet, we want to make ourselves feel bad because 
we want to blame people who died 50, 60, 70, sometimes 100 or 150 years ago in some cases. We want to blame people that died generations ago for things that are going on today. Black people owned and sold slaves. Asian people, Native people, Middle Eastern people sold and owned slaves. Everyone's ancestors participated in slavery. It wasn't exclusive to just us Americans. Okay? So if we stop trying to make people feel guilty for things they didn't do to get money for oppression that we never suffered, we'll be a lot better off. Okay, now, here's another story, okay? Completely related to this. White slaves were sold for centuries. All our ancestors, white, black, Native American, Asian American, all races, all our ancestors of all races either took slaves, sold slaves, or were slaves. It's the nature of the beast. And the sad part of it is, it's the 21st century AD and it's still going on. Yes, folks, slavery in America, which was supposed to be abolished in 1860 something, is still going on and we don't even know it. Well, actually, some of us know it, but we don't care to know it. It's kind of sad. Next story. The new vaccine concealment laws allow doctors to vaccinate children as young as 11 and withhold the vaccination records of those children from their parents. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's to serve some sort of democratic, globalist, treasonous agenda? I don't know. I'm not the expert here. I don't go on the media and lie to millions of people. I'm not a doctor like Anthony Fauci. I'm a regular jack-off. I am normal, just like you people that are viewing this video right now. I am just like every one of you. Regular, ordinary, but there are things about me that make me extraordinary, too. And, you know, this guy named David Chapman, right? David Chapman is unfit to lead the ATF. Biden's nominee, David Chapman, has a record of hostility towards gun orders and the Senate should reject him. You know why? Because David Chapman hates the Second Amendment and that's the only reason why Biden nominated him because Biden also hates the Second Amendment and doesn't even know what it is. The Second Amendment means you have the right to bear arms. But I guess most people in Congress are too stuck up their own asses to see that. Next story. Mike Pompeo tweeted that he confronted the Chinese Communist Party. The same Chinese Communist Party that's doing so much destruction to the Uyghur Muslims and its own people who want to practice their faith. When Mike Pompeo and his friends called them out, they sanctioned him. So needless to say, he's not going to be taking any family vacations to China, and he's fine with that. And you probably, you probably shouldn't go to China either, unless you want to be radicalized, unless you want to be, you know, Satanized, or communismized, or, you know, whatever the hell you call it. Basically, it's, China is just indoctrination as a country. Okay, next story. A Pennsylvania Democrat named John Fetterman quoted 
not too long ago, earlier in 2021, border fraud is bullshit and imaginary. Meanwhile, Pennsylvania Democrats two years ago in 2019 said differently. And yet a South Philadelphia judge of elections admits he took bribes to stuff the ballot box for Democratic candidates. Who is this so-called judge of elections? Dominic DeMuro, a Democratic ward leader who pleaded guilty to voter fraud. Democracy is hypocrisy. Mike Pompeo again. Let's get back to him, right? He recently posted a tweet. I don't know if you can see it. If you follow him, you might be able to see it. But he says in this tweet to not let woke socialists get us down. America is not a defeated nation. It's not a nation in decline. It's not a racist nation. It is a God-blessed Christian nation. You know what? Mike Pompeo is right. He is absolutely right. And you know what's sad? There are people out there in this nation that probably won't believe that because they hate Mike Pompeo just as much as they hate Trump, just as much as they hate actual constitutionalists, actual human beings that work actively and vehemently to protect our Constitution from our own government, which is actively trying to destroy it. Speaking of government, you know those Texas Democrats that fled from their own jobs and abdicated their positions to escape criticism and scrutiny? Five of those Democrats test positive for COVID after fleeing the state to block a vote. Go figure, right? I'm telling you what. I would not be surprised if every single one of those Texas Democrats that got on that jet plane to leave the named state of Texas, I wouldn't be surprised if all of them tested positive. Because I'm telling you, somehow or another, they're going to test positive for COVID. Next story. Virginia's former PTA leader, Michelle Leet, resigned from her position, who declared, let them die while railing against opponents of critical race theory, and she was ousted from her job. So she resigned. She quit. Just because of the fact that she hates people who don't believe in this bullshit excuse that is critical race theory. Critical race theory is an excuse. It's not a subject. It's an excuse. Critical race theory is no better than socialism. Speaking of socialism, Pelosi, age 79, Waters, aged 80, Diane Feinstein, aged 85, are the reason for socialism happening in this country. Because there is not a mandatory retirement age for politicians in Washington. You know, if we just passed an amendment, if we had just passed an amendment, and we can still do this, to limit the number of terms a politician in Washington can serve in either the House of Representatives or the United States Senate, we wouldn't be having... 79, 80, 85, 90-year-old politicians wielding their power and throwing their weight around like nobody else's business. And guess who is screwing the rest of us over by blindly following 
the dictations and demands of these slave masters within the government, the Diane Feinsteins, the Nancy Pelosi's, the Maxine Waters, the Alexandria Ocasio Cortez's, the Dick Durbins, the Eli Cummings, the John McCain's of Congress. And the sad part of it is, there are so many of these people in Congress. We have 535 people in Congress, and almost every single one of them are of zero use to us. You know why? Because they gladly take the bribes of lobbyists who bribe them to keep their jobs. So, my newest friend on Facebook, Goran Stojanovsky, shared a link from Giphy. It's, it's, back, it's basically an image right now, but if you link yourself to the Giphy image, it'll be a GIF or a GIF or whatever the hell it's called. It's either a GIF or a GIF. It's spelled GIF, but it's pronounced GIF. As in the GIF peanut butter brand. Anyway, when someone calls me a conspiracy hat nutter, I always respond with, The true conspiracy tin hat nutter is one who believes governments never lie. They serve the people and want nothing but the best for them. But ladies and gentlemen, all governments at some point end up lying to their people. So, coronavirus has a 99.7% survival rate. And yet the government wants us to take a vaccine and is willing to go door to door to shove the vaccine down our freaking throats. So imagine a world where there was a 99.7% chance you would not shit your pants, but you're forced to wear diapers just in case, not for you, but for others. That is the coronavirus in a nutshell. That is Democrats and liberals and socialism and communism in a nutshell. In other words, it doesn't work. And you know, so many people succeed in life. You know how they succeed? They never tell you how they succeed in life. They succeed by licking the feet of their slave masters, and we still have slave masters 150 some years after slavery was supposed to be abolished, but we still have slave masters nonetheless. The secret behind the success of so many people nowadays is they kiss the government's ass to promote their seemingly deathless communist ideal. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how most people get famous. They either join the Bavarian Illuminati, they become a member of Bohemian Grove, or they kiss the government's ass. So, the Delta variant of the COVID is a distraction from the audit results and rigged election. My Facebook friend Sydney Madison and I posted this, and we both want to know, are you paying attention? I don't have to watch the news on television to know what's going on. All I have to do is go on Facebook and look through the posts. All I have to do is go to Twitter and look through the posts. All I have to do is go to either one of those sites, because they are incredible sources of information. Very, very legitimate sources of information if you follow the right fucking people. You got to follow the right people in order to get legitimate, accurate information. You know, the Nazis had a phrase which covered all abuses by the German Reich. 
for Il Sicherheit, which is German for the English transliteration of It's for your safety. It's for your safety. For Il Sicherheit. It's for your safety, they say. It's not. It's not for your safety. It's to brainwash you into thinking, oh, well, I'm going to get a vaccine that's going to protect me from a coronavirus that I'm already protected from simply because of the fact that I haven't been infected by it yet. And probably won't be. And even if I do get infected by it, there's a 99.7% chance that I'll survive. And yet people want to praise people like George Floyd by painting a crown on his head in a mural dedicated in his honor and a street dedicated in his name. And they want to give his family $27 million simply because the police killed him. Well, if he didn't resist arrest, he wouldn't have gotten killed. I guess that's why God took notice and struck down the mural. Because that's what happened. Lightning, a bolt of lightning straight from the heavens. Destroyed the George Floyd mural that was dedicated in his and his family's honor. And reduced it to nothing. And now what? Are you just going to say, oh, well, we didn't do this. Let me tell you something. No group of people in the history of America has ever done more harm to America itself than the Democratic Party. No group of individuals have committed more heinous crimes against its own people, except for the Nazis, than the Democratic Party. They created the Ku Klux Klan. They were responsible for the creation of the Federal Reserve, which stole the constitutional right to print money from the U.S. Treasury. The Democrats were responsible for selling this country to the Rothschilds in 1871. And yet, they refuse to tell you that after the leaders of these countries that I'm about to mention took their citizens' guns away, Castro of Cuba murdered 100,000 unarmed citizens. Hitler of Germany murdered 6 million Jews. Stalin of Russia murdered 50 million unarmed Russians. And Mao Zedong of China murdered 60 million innocent Chinese people that didn't do a damn thing wrong other than willingly give their guns up. That's the only thing they had to do wrong, and then the government just shot them dead. <laughs> just like that, their lives terminated. That's it for this episode of Spot the Liberal, and we're going to close with this. Raise your hand if you haven't trusted Anthony Fauci since the beginning. Oh, I see. Every single one of you are raising your hands. That tells me something. That tells me Anthony Fauci is not to be fucking trusted. We can do it. I know we can't. Fuck. Jesus Christ.